Oh boy, welcome back sports fans. Mike Kretz here on this day one of the 22 NCAA South Central Regionals. Mesa as a two seed hosting. They're going to have to play uh, against both teams in the double elimination round robin. But tonight, taking on the loser of game one in the West Texas Buffs. Uh, who doesn't love a little LSC RMAC rivalry game? Let's get you out to Bergman Field right now. Now the Mavericks are trying to slide into day two undefeated and it starts to script for him too. Cannon handy on the bump for Mesa inducing the ground out over to all region first teamer Caleb Farmer always making big plays over at third another one for the game's first out next batter same result and this time over to short Mavericks kind of cruising. I just need to get one from second right well how about an inning ending strikeout for handy in the bottom of the first uh, more action for the hot corner here this time it's the buffs Adam Becker making the play over there at third. But the next batter, Caleb Farmer, he's going to get on with a sweet shot out to left center. Uh, he would make it over to third thanks to a balk and a pass ball. And you're going to see him right there on the Hayden McGeary ripper. But again, Becker making the stop over there. But this time, the Mavericks cleanup man, Spencer Bramwell, he's coming up clutch. Drops it behind the bus first baseman. The Mavs have a 1 nothing lead going to the second. How about the inning Cannon Handy had here in the second? By the way, I, sh I should mention he was named to the D2CCA All Region second team. Showing you part of the reason why. 14 pitches, three strikeouts in the second. Excellent and stuff there. So too for the Mavericks leadoff hitter Chase Hamilton and all region second teamer as well. Gets the base hit followed up by Mesa's uh, big time pull down the third baseline. That's on a hit and run. Hamilton comes in standing up uh, two nothing lead for the Mavericks as we head to the third where it was another one two three inning for Handy. This is the last out allowed out but gets out of it still not giving up a hit in the bottom half. Hayden McGeary comes to the plate. The all region player of the year for a second straight season because he does things like that. Takes another one deep. His 30th home run on the season puts the Mavericks up 3 0, and they're expanding. Bramwell, he's going to get on with a tough play over there at second base. The throw a little bit high, and then Chase Hamilton, he's going to come on and hit and on a, on a hit and run. Gets him one out to right. Mavericks take a 4 0 lead when I left Bergman. Uh, let's get you to the scoreboard. Uh, 5 3 Mavericks. That's your final handy. Your winning pitcher went six and one third innings, allowing uh, three runs on just one hit. Had a tough seventh inning, walking the bases loaded, but struck out seven batters. Uh, let's talk a little bit about how we got here. Earlier in the day, a quick recap from a long game one. Started at three, didn't end until after six o'clock. A rematch of the Lone Star Conference Championship that West Texas won. Uh, not today, though. St. Edwards, they got the 16-5 to win, which means game three tomorrow. The Mavericks will be taking on St. Edwards. Like I said, uh, that first game, even though it was a lopsided score, a lot of pitches in that one, a lot of base hits. Mavs are going to be eager to get to it. Remember, this is a double elimination round robin. West Texas officially eliminated. No matter what happens in game three, there will be at least one more at 7 o'clock.